Hey guys, welcome to this next episode on sleep. Off. Oh, fly. Hey guys, welcome to this episode on sleep. Today we're going to be focusing on how sleep affects certain hormones to do with performance, body fat and stress. Now taking into account the sort of training we do, low rep, high rep, heavy weight, low weight, short time, long time, this training stimulus there is going to make you ache for a day or two. We want to make sure we're getting an adequate growth hormone. Now growth hormone is key for recovery and stopping that achy feeling. Growth hormone is released at sleep. Now take into account that the growth hormone is released mostly in that first part of the sleep. It's important that you get to bed at a decent hour. Generally, 10 to 10.30 p.m. is adequate for an adult. Anything later than that, when you edge into like 11, half 11, midnight in some cases, you're eating into that time when that growth hormone is released. Getting adequate amount of growth hormone actually releases triglycerides from your fat cells. And that means you can utilize more energy from fat sources if you've got adequate growth hormone. So let's look at a hormone called leptin. Leptin regulates insulin. Now at night, your fat cells release leptin, which suppresses your appetite. So if you don't sleep well, your body doesn't release adequate leptin or, in, or leptin at all, and that then messes with your food cravings. This is why there's such a big deal between sleep and obesity or high body fat. So let's look at cortisol. Cortisol is something we don't really want in the body. It's a response to stress. We only need a small amount in that fight or flight situation. Unlike growth hormone and leptin, we don't want a huge amount of cortisol in the body. There's a couple of things that raise cortisol levels. It's stress and overtraining. And the thing that reduces cortisol is sleep. Cortisol actually stops you utilizing the energy from your food. It makes you put on weight and it breaks down muscle tissue. So if you're looking at increasing your performance, lowering your body fat, looking at any weight issues you might have, reducing stress levels, reducing cortisol in the body, looking at how you, what you're eating during the day, a good place to start is your sleep. What I would suggest you try is try looking at what time you go to sleep. For me personally, if I can be in bed asleep by 10 p.m., I feel amazing the next day, I train really well, I have loads of energy, half 10, that diminishes a little bit, 11 p.m., I'm pretty much useless. So have a little play around with what time you go to sleep and make a note maybe, if you wake up in the night, see what time it is. I wouldn't recommend doing this on all the time, but generally see what time it is. And there might be a correlation between what you eat during the day, what time you go to sleep, and what time you wake up, if at all, during the night. Hopefully that helps guys, and give you a bit more insight into sleep. Take care, have a great day.